low galactic family. The planetary energies at these moments are pushing us to redefine ourselves and what it means to be powerful agents of change. The old world we were used to is dying and being restructured. The new world in which we want to live remains under construction. Progress towards a more enlightened society has been made, and many other positive changes are underway. We certainly continue to live in dark times. The light is there, though. Our challenge and, indeed, our skillful means of advancement is to be able to witness both ends. To see them side by side, without fear and without agenda, helps us to prevail. In fact, for the changes we want, we cannot afford to develop amnesia and isolate ourselves in our homes and in like-minded communities. What is necessary now? A high level of conscious involvement is required. What do I mean by elevated? I am referring to the active participation that takes into account the great scene, rather than the mundane one. The great scene includes the cycles of humanity's evolution over time, as well as our own lives of preparation to be here at this time. Worldly approaches include obsession with the news and who is doing what. Reactionary responses based on fear are also included in this category. Indignation is one of them. There is no problem in feeling indignation and recognizing to ourselves that we are outraged at things. It is counterproductive, however, to be caught in the mode of indignation. Overcoming the indignation. What is needed is a constructive response. As a divine agent of change, you know the difference between simply expressing outrage and performing positive actions to support things with which you are in love. It seems different in your heart when you take this higher path. You feel good about it. Concentrate and support the things you believe in will energize you. Acting out of indignation will exhaust you. To fulfill the purpose of your soul in this life. You must be fully committed to life and hone your inner wisdom, so that it has an indestructible bond with the spirit. In doing so, your inner guidance will show you the next appropriate steps. Many of these will appear as windows of opportunity to act according to divine time. Small steps can lead to big steps. Donations of his inside wisdom. Your inner wisdom will help direct you to the light the truth and the correct view of the situations. It will help you avoid fanciful thinking, like the trap of believing that everything will be fine in the end regardless of what you do. This will help you keep your focus on hope, an energy that allows wonderful developments to emerge from the quantum levels of the unknown. To feel hope is to recognize the potentials that exist and to nurture your creation with your awareness, your focus and your actions. In doing this, you become the hope of the world. You become a miracle worker who leaves seeds of positive change for the next generations.